Hi friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot and welcome to Fuel Testnet. This is the last phase of Fuel Testnet and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to go about it. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to your Chrome Web Store and then you are going to download Fuel Wallet if you don't have it already. Now when you are done downloading, you can either create a new wallet or import your old wallet if you did um, the previous Fuel Testnet with us. Next, I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to paste the link to Fill Faucet to get test tokens. And here in the box, you have to paste your fill address. To get it, open up your fill wallet that you just installed. Tap on that copy icon right here. Go back to the faucet. Paste it in the box right here. And then all of the four boxes at the bottom, you have to ensure that they are checked. I'll complete the capture, then I'll tap on verify. Then tap on give me ether. Test token successfully sent to wallet. Let's go back to my fill wallet and then verify. I'll refresh my browser. The test tokens are here. Next up, I want to go to fill bridge. So I'll open up my browser again and then paste the link to the bridge. On the fill bridge, we want to bridge some it's from Sepolia to fill testnet. So the first thing you are going to do is to connect with your Ethereum wallet and I'll be choosing MetaMask in this case. I'll tap on next then tap on connect. Then I'll switch my wire network to Sepolia and then I'm going to connect with my fill wallet. So I'll tap on connect fill wallet. I'll choose fill wallet itself. Now, in my MetaMask wallet, I'll be bridging some ETH from Sepolia to Fill. So, I already have, but for the purpose of those who do not have, let me show you how to get Sepolia ETH. In your browser, type in sepoliafaucet.com. You need to know that you have to log into to this website to be able to use the faucet. Then paste in your MetaMask address, check the capture at the bottom, and then tap on Send Me ETH. Sepolia faucet will give you a uh, Sepolia it almost instantly when you claim it. So I'll just go on. I'll indicate the amount of Sepolia it that I want to bridge over to fill. I want to bridge 0.2 it. Then I'll tap on deposit and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Now this transaction actually takes about 20 minutes to be completed so I'll just pause this video and then come back when it is done. So I am back now, let's check my fill wallet and you can see that I now have extra 0.0028 which is the one I bridged from Sepolia. I can also decide to just withdraw some fill it into Sepolia 8 so I'll go to the withdraw tab. This time I'll indicate the amount of fill it that I want to bridge over to Sepolia, then tap on withdraw and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. This time bridging back to layer 1 takes about 5 hours and I'll just leave this part and then move on to the next item. This time we want to play a game on field testnet. We are visiting swayfarm.xyz. So tap on play with in browser wallet. Tap on connect and then choose fill wallet. This prompt disappears in a matter of seconds. So you have to be fast when you tap on it. I will approve the connection in my wallet. So here we are. You want to tap on make a new player. And again, you are going to confirm that in your wallet.
you will receive one farm coin which you are going to use to play this game so this is you right here at your house and this these um 10 squares are your farmlands and this right here is the market the first thing you want to do to play this game is to make a trip to the market to buy seeds that you want to plant so to move the cartoon on the screen you need to be able to use the controls so i just switched back to mobile mode so that you can see the controls right here at the bottom right so you can see each of the arrows the top arrow moves your cartoon to the top the bottom arrow moves it to the bottom same thing goes for the left and right arrow so i'm making a trip to the market i'll keep going until i get to the market use the top arrow then you are going to uh, receive a prompt to buy 10 seeds. Tap on buy 10 seeds. Then you are going to have to confirm this in your wallet. Now that you have 10 seeds, you can see my 10 seeds here. What you want to do next is to start planting your seeds. Okay. I'll just refresh my browser to get rid of that prompt. Okay, so you are going to use the controls again and then start moving your cartoon. I think this is a cat or dog or whatever. Use it to move the cartoon to the top of each piece of land. And when you are on the top of a land, you are going to receive a prompt to plant a seed here. Tap on plant and then confirm in your wallet. Every time you plant a seed, the number of seeds that you have in store is reduced by one. As it is supposed to be then i'll move to the second piece of land plant a seed here i'm going to tap on plant again and i'm going to confirm the transaction in my wallet i'm moving on to the third piece of land plant a seed here i'm going to choose plant and then confirm the transaction in my wallet so in order not to waste our time i'm going to repeat the process for the rest of the seven piece of land but i'm going to speed it up so i am using the controls to move to the top of each piece of land then i'll con i'll choose plants then i'll confirm the transaction in my wallet so i am done planting on the 10 piece of land so what you are going to do now is to give it some minutes for your seeds to start germinating. I just switched back to desktop mode so that I can see the full uh, image. So as you can see out of the 10 seeds that I planted, 3 have already started germinating. If you give it some more time, the rest will also germinate. So I just paused this video and I came back after about 30 minutes to an hour. And now you can see all of my uh, tomatoes are fully ripe and ready to harvest. So the same way you move to each piece of land to plant a seed there, you are going to again use the controls to move your cartoon to the top of each piece of land and then harvest your tomatoes. Harvest this item, tap on harvest. Then confirm the transaction in your wallet. As I am harvesting, you see my tomatoes are increasing in number at the bottom left. So I'm moving on to the next piece of land and then I'll harvest the tomatoes. And then confirm the transaction in my wallet. So as you can see my tomatoes are increasing and I'll just pause this video and then resume it once I am done harvesting all 10 tomatoes. So you can see here I now have 10 tomatoes and what are you going to do next? Again, make a trip back to the market. Now you have two options. Do you want to buy more seed or sell your tomatoes? I want to sell my tomatoes now. So I'm going to tap on sell all items. Then I'll confirm the transaction in my wallet.
I am done selling my tomatoes. Now, when you buy seeds, you spend from your farm coins, and when you sell your farm produce, you get more farm coins. Now, I am yet to actually dig deeper into Sway Farms and then see if there is actually any form of reward for people who play this game. I just added this as part of our field testnet interaction. So maybe I can do that later and then we'll know whether we have to be playing this for a long period of time or it is okay to do it just once. But then for field testnet, this will be everything on field testnet and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you find my videos useful, then give me a like and also subscribe to my channel. Also join us on Telegram. You'll find the link to our Telegram channel as well as all links I used in this video in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.